Hey everybody, it's Jay Dash Mobile here. I am here with another video. I wanted to make this video about Lyft. As you guys know, I have been driving for Lyft for a little while now and I actually have been using the Lyft rental program. And I actually just recently um, returned the vehicle back. So um, I wanted to make a video about that and let you know my experience and, with, and if I think it's worth actually the uh, expenses. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Started driving um, for Lyft. Let me see. Maybe about six months ago, because October. Uh, I guess like sometime in the summertime, right? Um, probably a little before that. And I initially had gotten it because I wanted to, of course, have a vehicle to be able to go from one place to place. But my intention was also to use it to make more money. I figured two hundred fifty dollars. Couldn't have been too bad to pay for per week, and then whatever else I made over that, that would be my profit. And it started out pretty okay. It didn't start off good, really, but it started out pretty okay. What I was doing was, because I still worked at night, so I would do it in the mornings. I would get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, go to my rides, and then be back maybe about 10 at first. And then I would, I, by that time, I actually would have a good amount of rides in. So my key goal was to try to get at least 10 rides per day, um, as much as I could. And then... Um, after like a few weeks of doing that, then I started seeing some profits and I, I, it started look, make, looking like something I could actually keep doing for a little bit. So I kept doing it. And, um, some when weeks were better than others. Um, weeks I actually made over a hundred dollars profit other weeks. Um, uh, but that usually depends on how much, my, how much time I was putting into, um, my nine to five as well. So if I wasn't working there, I made more money doing Lyft. Um, and if I was doing more hours there, then they would cut down how much I would do with Lyft. And just try to do that. You know, do that in the mornings. Leave from that, from um, doing lift. Um, sometimes when I see that the money would be a little more dwindled, or if I wake up a little later than 5 o'clock, then I would probably do that till about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and then go straight to work. And then even over time, I started noticing that I had to work a little harder to make that money meet. Like, even to make the, to make the minimum of 20 rides was nothing. But then when I get to 20 rides, I still felt like I had to do another 10 to 20 more rides to be able to meet the $249 um, per week um, fee. And then on top of that, to make even more rides so that way I could actually see a profit from it. So for a little while, I didn't complain because I felt like it, at the time for me, it was a good deal because I was able to use the vehicle for my own pleasure and also be able to uh, make money from it because at the same time, I was also doing Postmates. Um... So, but even that was like something that was really big. So, honestly, I would say for like the last few months, I've actually been thinking about other ways to make it work for me versus me come out of pocket. Because there would be some weeks that I would reach my 20 rides minimum, get all the way up to $200, and then still have to pay $50 to Hertz so that way they can, I can continue to using the vehicle. And it, it got to a point where I got tired, I got exhausted. I spent a lot of time trying to work on that. I, the days I would have, which would be my chilling days, would normally be on the weekends. And even that didn't really turn out to be like as I wanted it to be. So overall, I'm really busting my ass trying to make the money to pay them to keep the car. And not really seeing a profit from it. So, um, but it doesn't want to deter anybody else from doing the same concept. Because you might not have something else to, that's taking up your time. So for me, I, would, I felt like well, the days that I worked best, or the days that I actually had a profit, was the days that I wasn't working at my 9 to 5. So if I was doing that in the morning and then take a break for a few hours, come back and do it again at night, when it would be like, um, when the traffic would really start picking up, or people geeking off of work, those would be the times I would make a good amount of money. You know, and I could really average out about $100 a day. But it wasn't working out for me at that time. So... Over time, I started contemplating on what the next move was going to be. Now, as you guys know, I'd always wanted to get my own vehicle, but because of what I was working with um, at that time, it wasn't working for me to be able to make that happen. So now that things are actually changing up a little bit, um, I actually have a, I got a new job, um, getting ready to leave UPS. And even though ultimately you guys know I'm not trying to be stuck at this 9 to 5 forever, but of course, for some of us, it is a means to an end, meaning that 
I'm going to use it as a stepping stone to get to where I want to be. So if I use this other job, which is going to give me more money, have me more hours, and that way I don't really have to focus solely or have to focus on adding on another revenue as of right now when it comes to live, but I can be able to use that money that I make from a new job to stack up, to basically start saving up for my own vehicle or lease a vehicle so that way I can actually have that. And instead of paying $1,000 a month to Hertz and Lyft to continue using their vehicle so that way I can just basically just drive it because I'm not really making any money. So that instead what I can do is lease my own vehicle, put $300 in that, and I can still use my job to pay for that lease. 300, 400 max. Really, 300 to me is already a lot to pay for a car for leasing. But it all depends on what kind of car you're trying to get. So if I use that, and then I'll still go ahead and add on lift to it, and then I could use, and I don't have to work work with that vehicle as much. And then with that warranty and having that insurance, it will cover me to where if something does happen within within like let's say the first few years or whatever, then I'll be able to get that taken care of without having to really shell out a lot of my own money too much when it comes to that. So that's where my mind's at with that right now. So um, still along the lines of getting a, another car, um, but in the meantime, I am on Mark. I am on public transportation, and I'm okay with that because it's something actually was doing before. So now I'm just doing it to get to where I want to be. So overall, the last couple of weeks, um, I have made plans on giving the car back. Things had gotten um, a little difficult. Some challenges had arisen, and I was unable to really pay. Um, one of the weeks. Then as that time went on, I started learning like tips and tricks, or tricks really more so, on how to prolong keeping the vehicle so that way I don't have to pay if I didn't have it at the time. So what I would do is I would, if I owed on Monday, I would probably pay them until Friday because that's when I would get paid. And around that time is when they'll keep sending you calls and stuff, but you actually will be able to keep using the vehicle and also keep doing rides. And that was one of the things that I wanted to continue doing, so doing those rides. And then by that time, I might be able to save up enough money to pay them and then use my checks to continue paying the rest of it. It was a lot. It was a lot. I mean, it was really taken out of what I could have been making, which is why my ultimate goal was to make money with Lyft, not spend money. So that was what my conclusion came. I was like, you know what? This is taking more money out, and it's adding a little more stress than I needed to. So I made that conscious decision. I was like, I was going to return the vehicle. A couple of weeks had went by, I still couldn't pay the, the balance. So I was like, okay, I set a date to return it. Um, I went ahead and got up there and returned the car and basically made sure it was clean, everything like that, so you can get your deposit back, right? So right now I'm waiting on the deposit to come back. Um, but I did get, I got to the point where Lyft sent me messages where they actually had blocked my app because it, I hadn't paid it, you know, um, or couldn't pay it. So I couldn't use that vehicle no more, so I had to return it. But then, um, when I got up there, everything was pretty much squared away. I think they only said I only had to pay one day worth uh, from the day that I had returned it, which was a Monday, and it was like thirty-five dollars. But I was gonna get my my deposit back, um, which is gonna take a little bit. So that should be coming back sometime this week. I will probably update you guys on that as well. Um, and then also, uh, when it comes to Hertz, I'm not. I guess I can still rent for them, but ultimately I didn't really. It wasn't my initial choice with car rentals. I've always used Enterprise. But uh, Hertz was what worked with Lyft, so that's why I had that. Um, but it was a good experience overall. I was able to do a lot of things. I've even heard some people actually have traveled with the vehicles that they actually use, whether they're going like to another state, seeing family members, those type of things. And it works, you know what I mean? And then if something happens to the car, all you got to go up to the place that you got your car from or a corresponding location, and they'll take care of it. Because I have flat tires, I would go up there, they would change the tires out, give me new tires, and that would be it. And I have to keep it moving, I didn't have to pay for nothing. That's what you get included with that $249 a week. But for me, it just ate up a lot of my own money, and it didn't really benefit me in the long run. That's just my experience. Is it worth it? Eh, is your thing is based on what you think it would, you would need to do at that time. Um, for me, it wasn't worth it, overall. Um, but for everybody else, it might have been, you know, and I did it for six months. So keep in mind, I did it for six months, spent and earned about $6,000 because it was like $1,000 a month. And I basically could have saved that money to buy my own car. But, um, what's that term is? Some of them is hindsight. 2020 is hindsight, whatever. Um, so now I know better, but so now my plans also have altered. So that's also something else I'm actually looking and working for. Because a lot of things are getting ready to happen in the next few weeks. So I want to make sure that I'm ready for everything that's coming to fruition. Um, so that's that. And as of right now, I'm just um, focused on the next thing. So 
if you're look, if you're interested in trying to join the lift program, I don't, I wouldn't tell you don't do it, but think about what your exit plan is. Make sure that you aren't trying to do this for the long run because again, it is a thousand dollars a month that you could put three hundred dollars a month into a new vehicle, and not necessarily have to use that car all the time, but it will be up to you because you do have to think about gas. I don't have to also think about um, the wear and tear on your vehicle. Which we put on our cars anyway, but this would be a different way that you'd have to think about it because you will be using it more and definitely will be probably going to places that you wouldn't expect to go, especially when it comes to lift. So that's why I said use your own judgment. Um, I just know for me personally, in the long run, it did not benefit me. So it wasn't worth it, but other people, it might. So with that being said, uh, I no longer do the lift rental program, but I am not against doing lift again. So when I get my other vehicle and that time comes around, I will make a video about that. But until then, I appreciate you guys for watching my videos and keeping up with me when it comes to the different changes that I've been going through. And I will make um, another video coming up real soon. All right. Thank you all so much for the support and for watching this video. And don't forget to like my video if it helps you. And also don't forget to subscribe at the bottom. Thank you so much. Catch you all later.